Did you like this video? Then you're gonna like this video. In the previous video, I showed you how to get a fidget spinner on Thingiverse and print it on a 3D printer. Now, a great thing about this is how quiet it is, especially if you use a ball bearing. However, you do have to purchase a ball bearing in order for it to be completed. Now, if that's not something that you want, and maybe you notice that these things are flying across the classroom, they're becoming more of a distraction, you can also print a 3D printed fidget ring. Now, what's great about this is it's controllable. You could just have the student wear it and they can spin it. It's quiet, just like the fidget spinner. It's not gonna go as fast, but it allows movement. There's texture for the kids to feel. And it, like I said, it's controllable. And I've had a couple of students this year, they're paying more attention to me when I'm talking. They're spinning. I mean, they don't have to put on any kind of finger. They can just have it right here. They can use their thumb and finger or their opposite hand. I mean, any way they want. But they're paying attention to me, listening to my instruction, and they're not bouncing around or running around the classroom. So, so I'm on Thingiverse, and the link is in the description. And I'm going to look for fidget rings. I typed it in. And the one I chose was right here by Amazing Spano Man. Now when you click on the download all files, you're going to notice that there are three STL files. The one I use and the one I really enjoy is because of the texture that the kids can feel while spinning is the NURB ring, K-N-U-R-B. I'm going to click on that. So I'm gonna click on the ring that I want and I'm gonna drag it to my CETUS slicing software. And here I can scale it up or down so that it fits my students. Right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. An important thing to know is that when you're scaling things down or scaling things up, you're going to change the structure of the 3D print. So you might have to sand certain things down a little bit more so that it does spin. So that's just a helpful tip when you are scaling 3D prints. You might have to do a little bit more maintenance to make it work. So I've got my print in the print bed and I'm going to set up my printer and I'm gonna hit print. Now the fidget ring comes in three parts. This fidget ring does. It comes with two outside parts and a middle part. That's the texture one. And all you have to do is clamp them together and it'll be able to spin. Whether you're using a fidget spinner or a fidget ring, I think having both and having a variety of them will really help with classroom management, with kids that need to release some energy. 
but they're releasing it in a way that's quiet and not as distracting so that everyone can concentrate on what you're teaching. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.